Hello everyone, it's Phil here doing another tweak guide. We're looking at the GG.com version of Wing Commander 2. So I've done the Wing Commander 1 already and Wing Commander 2 happens to be part of the same installation. So let's run it, see what it looks like and then we start some tweaking. Here we go, Wing Commander 1 and 2 and we have Wing Commander 2. Then we have uh, Special Operations and then Special Operations 2. So let's run the main game and check it out. So we can see that the image is full screen, but it is uh, stretched. Sound plus the music and sound uh, works fine. So let's press escape. Here, I'm just going to calibrate my joystick. I'm going to press J. So we have to press the button. Uh, upper left, lower right, and then center. And we get a little error message here. Um, but it actually seems to work just fine. I will speak with Prince Thrakath alone. Speech is also working fine. Arise, grandson. Alrighty, let's quit the game and let's start tweaking. So, first we go into our Wing Commander 2 folder. A couple of tweaks we will apply. Uh, we're going to fix the uh, graphics, we're going to improve the music and sound by using the Roland MT32 MUNT emulator and I'm also going to show you how to fix that error message with the joystick. So it all happens in this file, dosboxwc2.conf. Uh, Here we go. And uh, full resolution, put in your resolution of your monitor. In my case, it's 1920 by 1080 and window resolution, I usually go with 800 by 600. That's the resolution of the window when you toggle between full screen and window mode by heading, by pressing Alt, Enter. If you wanna change uh, the game so it actually by default runs in window mode, just set that to false. Output, there are three options for the output. We've got OpenGL, OpenGL non-bilinear and direct draw. OpenGL gives you a nicer, softer, more consistent look. OpenGL non-bilinear and direct draw give you a sharper pixel look, but some of the pixels um, are not the right size, are not the same size, and especially when you look at font and text, um, these two options, um, sometimes the text looks a bit odd, and that's to do with scaling, um, scaling the pixels. Okay, so we set that to OpenGL, that's the setting I recommend and that works pretty well. Down here, we have to change the aspect ratio correction to true. Otherwise, the image will be uh, in, in widescreen format, 16 by 10 rather than, rather than body authentic 4 by 3 aspect ratio. Set the scalar to normal 3x. Then we get to the uh, processor part. That looks all fine. Um, instead of cycles 4000, I usually just use a fixed 8000 as per uh, the readme file. Now regarding the speed of Wing Commander 2, unlike Wing Commander, Wing Commander 2 uh, is not really that speed sensitive when you're inside of the game. Um, I tried various cycle speeds and it seems to auto adjust the speed, um, so it doesn't really matter what cycle speed you set. So that's with the cycle speed of 8000. However, I have noticed that the animations, for example, if you hit the autopilot um, and you see cutscenes, the animations play quite fast with the cycle speed of 8000. So it might be worth playing around with a slower one. The other thing you can do is in space flight, holding down the Alt key and with plus and minus, you can change the frame duration, which will basically slow it down. So if you if you prefer the choppy, uh, sluggish gameplay like in Wing Commander, and you want to have the same experience in Wing Commander 2, um, that's one option of doing it. But as soon as you press autopilot, 
the animation will still be very very fast. They're attacking us, sir. So it seems that only applies Permission to the uh, 3D uh, engine when you when you're doing space flights, and you can see it's now slowed down and actually it makes it a little bit easier to to hit to hit the enemies. So really, it's just a just a preference depending on what kind of uh, play style you prefer. And under mixer, we're gonna boost the sample rate a little bit to 48,000. And now we have to configure something here. This has to do with MUNT. We have to tell DOSBox what MIDI config ID number MUNT uses. And to do that, we just go into our main Win Commander 1 and 2 folder, go to DOSBox, run DOSBox, and we type the command mixer slash list midi and we get a list here and number three is my mt32 synth emulator which is mount so we just put a three in there for the sound blaster sample rate which is used for speech we set that to 48,000. and what else do we have speaker joystick and here the main tweak we're doing is setting auto to uh, to axis joystick and timed from false to true that will fix the error message with the joystick that's pretty much it so we're done here we hit file and save and the other thing we need to do is tell the game to use the Roland MT32 and for that we have to create a few shortcuts so you can see here there's install, install one and install two. Those are the installation files for Wing Commander 2 and then the two um, uh, special operations, special operations two to change the sound cards and the configuration. However, um, GG hasn't given us shortcuts to use those. So we're gonna create our own. So first we copy this shortcut, shortcut dosbox wc2 underscore single.conf. Just copy paste it, right click, rename and we change that into put a command at the end so dosbox one command two underscore command um we're just gonna open this one as well and we delete all of that so we're gonna create basically a new shortcut that will drop us to the command line where we can run these files and we need another shortcut, this one here. We copy paste the launch wing commander two shortcut and we rename that to command. And then we right click and edit that shortcut. And instead of pointing to DOSBox WC2 underscore single, it's gonna point to DOSBox WC2 underscore command. And I believe we just, maybe we, have to remove the exit i'm not sure let me just double check and let's run it see what happens okay it closed it so yes we have to get rid of the exit at the end there you go and now we can do a directory and we have our install install one install two so we just run uh, install press the key to continue we change the sound to empty 32 and for the speech we say yes we want speech and yes and i believe even if you do this for the other ones um hang on oh the wrong directory install one it's already changed up here as well so really there's nothing i don't think you have to do this for all of them okay that's ready to go so we've tweaked the graphics we tweaked the sound uh, fix the joystick so let's run it and see what it looks like the game is going to take a little bit longer to load because it's configuring the mt32 emulator it's uh, uploading some patches
That's all working fine. Let's check out the joystick. So we press J. Press the button, upper left, press the button, lower right, press the button, center, press the button, and there's no error message anymore. Now there's one more thing I want to talk about is the balance between music and speech. I will speak with Prince you, can, you notice that the speech is actually really loud, so what you can do is press Alt Enter. And you can control the music in mount. The Terran carrier, Tiger's Claw, and then on the mixer, you can change the speech here. So that way you can adjust the balance between uh, speech and music. It's not ideal in a lot of games, so it needs a bit of a bit of tweaking. Yes, my Emperor. Without the Tiger's Claw to defend them, we can crush the rebellion of Gorakar. All right, let's just do a bit of gameplay. They're attacking us, sir. Affirmative, Captain. They're attacking us, sir. Affirmative, Captain. We shall destroy Terra. You are cleared to land.
And that's it for this video. Everything seems to be working fine. So we tweaked the graphics. We've got some better uh, music thanks to the MT32 Mount emulator. We also balanced the speech with the music a little bit so it's not too, too much out of place. Uh, we fixed the joystick, not having that error message anymore. And we also, um, also showed you how to create the shortcuts in order to configure the, configure the game to actually use the mount emulator. And that's it for this video. Hit the like button, leave any comments down below if you've got questions, I try to answer them uh, as soon as possible. Um, check out my website, philscomputerlab.com, lots of interesting things on there and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Okay, thanks for watching.